If you want to start editing videos and you don't know from where to start or which software you will use, Adobe Premiere is the best for you because it's easy, simple and fast to learn. So if you don't know how to edit videos in Adobe Premiere, don't worry. This is our mission. Because in this episode, I will teach you step by step from the scratch to the professional level in order to post videos on YouTube if you want to create a channel for yourself or even if you want to post videos on Facebook. And after watching this video, please guys, if you have any questions or inquiries, write for me a comment below and I will answer all of your questions. Because I will teach you how to cut videos and if you want to edit it by some tools or if you want to attach two videos together in one file. How to add photo to the video and how to edit it with some effects. How to add graphics from different websites and how to edit it. How to add text to the video and how to add some effects to the text. Also I will teach you how to edit the colors for the video using color correction or some settings. How to export your video after finishing the project and how to save it anywhere you want. Welcome back guys, now I will tell you, uh, we will start already explanation for the Adobe Premiere If you see down here down the desktop, you will find this is the logo of Premiere I will press on it And for the people who has questions by the way, that from where they can download Adobe Premiere I will leave for you the link at the end of the video to know from where you can download it First when I click, I find this in front of me, don't care about all of this Okay, all of this is before uh, it's it's a working files for me before so don't care about it All of what you have to care is this two new project and open project new project from their names You can understand new project if you want to start a, a new project and something yeah, Just this is the first time to work on it or open project if you have a work before in Adobe Premiere or working files You can open from here so let's start from the beginning. I will press just only new project and I will name it anything like my name. It's Ahmed Hassan and uh, in this window Don't care about anything just you have to name your file and you have to be sure only that display format is time code display format is audio samples and capture format is DV So I will press ok. Ok when it's open for me, it's open for me this window. Don't be shocked. I don't want this is not scary because I know if you open it for the first time, you will be able yani, asking yourself what's this. So this is very easy, by the way. First, if you see here on the left side corner, this area, import media to start. Let's see that this is your garage, and this garage have some cars, which is your videos. So any video I want to insert it inside the program, I have to import it here. For example, I will go to one of my videos, this one. I will drag it here and I will throw it here. So my video in my garage now. Okay. So if I want to get this video inside my workshop in order to be edited, so I drag it again. Here is very important keys plus and minus plus because if you have too much videos here you cannot differentiate between them so you have to make plus in order to see the video clear so first I make dragging my video here and then I drag it here back again okay let's take it quickly this one I have to select my video in order to show me the settings of video for example some videos when you take a shooting for it you can find this photo is small so you can play in the scale of the photo from here you can make it like 200 which is too big or you can make it 50 which is too small we will get it back to the normal size which is 100 this is regarding the scale regarding the position position if you want to move your photo up or down or if you want to take right or left so position and the scale this is what you are using here okay so if today now I don't want starting from this area, I want to cut it and go to uh, this area. And so let's say this area in between, I don't want it. I just need this part and just need this corner part. So what I'm doing, I will press it here. Be sure that this is the area which you want to cut. This is the line which you want to start cutting and you will press control K. So 
it's cut it already now see the video is before coming it's coming one part now it's two parts and if you want to cut uh, cut another part you have to select the first like this and then control key again then this area in the middle you can press delete and then you can hold left key and you can grab it to the other video okay uh, another also thing which is uh, will help you a lot that if you want to attach between these two videos again you will select all of them like this and you will press right click and you will say nest okay see it's coming one part now no cutting samples okay another another key if you want to cut if you don't want to press control key you can you see this razor tool you can bring it you can cut anywhere you want see this line uh -huh. I cut here I cut here so it's very easy okay this is regarding uh, this one okay so if this one like this and I want to extend my video I can extend my video like this or I can extend it outside like this it's very easy okay now uh, about uh, the texting if I want to add text I will go to files then I will press new then I will press legacy title then after this I'll press anything like text okay it will show me like this I will press on the screen but before pressing be sure that you choose the font already which is uh, let's say anything and I will write anything I will write just my name Ahmed and I will collect it and from here the colors I will make it like red to be obvious and I can see I will press this arrow in order to come and hold it to move it uh -huh. it's moving now uh -huh. okay now I will close you will tell me now where is the text here the text is here first in your garage you have to bring it here in your workshop so if I bring this here back again I find Ahmed is coming here I will press this one and I will move Ahmed from the same settings from position like this or from like this this about the texting if I want to add photo let's say I want to add photo okay I think voodoo is very easy let's say that um, I want to bring any photo from my files and by the way advice yani advice from me that you have to make your photo firstly PNG not GBG because GBG you have to edit it firstly on Photoshop but if you make it GBG uh, sorry MPG, uh, PNG it will be easily for you so any I will choose any photo from here not from this file I can okay let's say this one I will choose the Instagram logo and I will come also drag it here put it in my garage and then I drag it again to put it here see it's coming very big how I can as I told you press on it exactly by the way you can change the name itself it's normal okay so press on it and then from this scale try to put like 30 still big try to put like 5 ah now it's becoming accurate so also you can choose it like this or like this so this you take it in this side so now I add text I add photo and everything is okay so and from here you can play in the, uh, in the opacity of the photo like see if I play here it will be opacity okay this is the first thing secondly now if I want to add graphics how can I add graphics see graphics if you know uh, any file has a format word for example like GPG like PNG like DWG like uh, FPX like all of this okay you will press graphics there is a very beautiful website it's called Mixkit I will also leave for you a link here for the Mixkit you can download from it your file should be Mogart format I will show you now this is my graphics see Mogart Mogart if you have any format else it will not be uploaded so you putting here uh, if you want to add new one it's okay from here uh, if you don't want to add we have too much uh, titles like here we can put it here drag it here 
and we can see it later here on the screen this one you can play also a size and everything so we will remove it okay this is about the graphics what about that if you want to download or um, if you want to play in the color correction which is very important for you color correction I will go to color and then I press in anyone here let's see I will press in my video see the most important in the color here it will show to you this window exactly like this what I care about basic correction creative and curves this is the three the most important so I bring with creative and then I will press on the one which I am usually use it it's this one SL clean Fuji HDR if I make it it will give me a very good color okay so I will stop here if you see I can play in the color or I can make like this and by the way this is choices by the way so now if I want to check any choice for this one let's see that I want to choose this one double click on it ah, it's changed already here I want to choose another one double click in it it will also it will come to you here this is about the color correction and another also area which is very important for you is the basic correction from it you can play in the colors and like this and I don't want to tell you special standards about this because this is by your creativity and by your uh, mind so this is about the color correction so uh, about the last thing which is uh, for me it's very important I want to export it I want to save it how I will save it like save as no you will go from file and then export and then media okay and from here it will show to you this window this is if you press here it will show to you which place you want to save in like for example I want to save it in the desktop and I press save and here be sure that this format is H.264 and present is match source hybrid rate and be sure also that it's render at maximum depth from the video and use maximum render high quality and I will say export and after this it will be saved in the place which you choose already I hope this video will be helpful and useful for you and please guys I'll remind you again if you have any inquiries or questions don't hesitate to ask me because I'm ready to answer all of your questions and please press subscribe like and share and press the button bell in order to receive the latest updated videos for my channel see you later